Hello guys and welcome back. My name is Zach Off the Wall and we are going to be playing Receiver for Random Game Mondays. Now Random Game Mondays is a thing that we're starting up now. Uh, we kind of have a set schedule for most of our series, but uh, you know, that doesn't stop us from wanting to upload some uh, some other good games we find. So that's what that's what Random Games Monday is all about. We're going Your to be playing any random game that we find. The rules of our world don't apply to yours, and so the threat have made a careful study of the. All right, so this game is basically about. Uh, it's like Slender. You have to go around finding these audio cassettes. Um, I don't really un I don't really understand the story a whole lot, but the audio cassettes uh, unravel the story a little bit more. The game's also a random spawn game, so you, you spawn with a random amount of ammo, random gun, uh, and also a random amount of mags, and, uh, you know, whether you have a flashlight or not, also random. Um, so, I, I've been having a lot of fun with this game. It's only five bucks on Steam, which is a great price for what you get out of it. I've been playing this game for probably two days now, two, three days. Um, not very good at it. But, uh, I do, I do know what to shoot at now. If you shoot at these, uh, red sensor things, you can just knock the sensor out and they won't, uh, they, they won't be able to see you. They'll still operate. They, you, they can't see you, therefore they won't shoot. But, uh, basically your main enemies in this game are those turrets and, uh, and these flying taser turrets. Okay, that, that time I got it. Um... Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, did I get, did I, did I get hit? No, I didn't get it. If you get hit once, you're dead. So... <laughs> you really gotta be careful. Um... You yeah, know, but I've been having a lot of fun with this game. Um... And basically, yeah, it's, it's like the idea of Slender. If you, you gotta go around collecting things and, uh... As you're collecting them, uh, things are trying to kill you, and, well, if you die, you have to completely restart. To your so, thoughts. I picked up this audio the tape. You have to listen to the, the full thing for it to be quote-unquote absorbed. When confronting um, a kill drone, as you can see in the upper right the there. Points. Uh, the, the controls on this game are kind of weird. The camera, They're weird to get weapon, used to at motor, first. But, uh, you've got, for when you on click, a kill uh, drone turret, when the you click and motor question the body mark or whatever weapon. on your keyboard, it brings the up this list of commands that you can do. And the batteries behind that, and near the rear of the body it's very closure. helpful for when you're starting Targeting out, but I kind of got down all the, uh, I kind of got down the controls now, so I don't need it. But yeah, it can be useful to somebody who's new to the game. It was very useful to me at first, but, uh, you know, I kind of got the hang of the game. <whistles> Heard that one crash. Um. Oh, crap. What sees me? What sees me? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm out of ammo. I'm out of ammo. Oh, God. 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 Reloading all this game isn't easy. <laughs> Alright, what I spawn with this time. Okay, I got the 1911, which is good. I like this gun. Especially in this game. This game makes a really nice model of the 1911. Uh, do I have any ammo? Oh yeah, I do. I can fill that mag up all the way. Nothing's better than a full mag in the 1911! Which is completely not true. I, I don't think that's the best thing, but I... I it is pretty nice to uh, have a full mag in this game. It uh, comes in handy later. Um, so you can scavenge around for ammo and, uh, and flashlights and bullets and or, yeah, ammo, uh, as I've shown already. But uh, one thing I am kind of wondering about is, uh, can you get more mags for your gun by scavenging? I have not been able to do that yet. Oh, usually you find ammo and stuff in these, but I guess not this time. Um, but I, I don't know if you can. I have not ever, I've never found one yet. So, uh, I'm kind of, kind of curious on that, but I guess with enough experimentation and playing, I could easily figure that out, or I could just look it up, but I, I mean, that's not the way I rule. Um, 
Now, which way did I come from? Oh, I came from that way. Uh, and I want to go this way. That was pretty close. Um... <laughs> God dang, give me a heart attack, you... God! I'm gonna, like, punch my computer screen. God. Now, they've kind of added a stealth... Oh, that was a nice find. Although, I don't need the other flashlight, so I'm gonna leave that there. Okay, you can find a few of these. I don't really understand the point of them, but you can find empty audio cassettes. And I don't really understand why you'd want an empty audio cassette, but you can find them. Um, I remember the first time I was playing this, I thought that this, like, like the empty audio cassette, that, uh, you know, like, something was gonna, like, jump out and, like, scream in my face or something. Because, you know, I play a lot of horror games and all. Um, which I haven't yet filmed for the channel. I don't think I'm going to soon, but I will sometime. I, I eventually, I believe anyway. Um, hmm, getting a little choppy there. Oh, oh see that that audio tape just ended, and now I have one audio tape absorbed. I think this, I think these type of gun mechanics would be nice for a horror game. Just imagine, like, something jumping out at you and, like, you just, like, spray everywhere and you have to reload and, like, it takes forever and, like, this thing's chasing you. Oh, man. That would suck. That would suck. Oh, man. Alright, how many bullets do I have left in this mag? Oh, I'll just pull it up. Fill her up. I I seem to be running low on ammo. There are times in this game where I've run out of ammo and like I just can't do anything because I've run out of ammo. And I try to pull off the stealthy thing, but they don't really have a whole setup for stealth yet in this game. And what part of stealth they do have in this game isn't like meant like this game isn't meant to be about stealth. It isn't meant about to be about going around obstacles, it's about basically confronting them, or at least that's what I've gotten from it. Um, and I don't know, that makes it pretty easy for me because that's what I like to do. Although, I do like my stealth games, um, you know, Metal Gear Solid, a bunch of other games like that, they, they all mean quite a bit to me. But, I will say, I do love my just running through, shooting crap for no reason. Um. Okay, I, I already took that turret out. Uh, is there, is there way back? No, I guess not. Okay, uh, I don't know where I'm going right now. I'm just kind of running around. The, uh, the, the map is also randomly generated, if you have not noticed. Uh, when you die, the map sets and the rooms are set up in a very weird order they, they they're just kind of pieced together however so that that makes the game it makes it so it uh you know it never gets boring but um truth of the matter is that you'll be seeing a lot of places you think you recognize but really it changes every time so Oh man, this is dark. I cannot, like, see anything, and I have a flashlight. Oh my god. Why is it so dark? Oh, I have a light. Gosh dang, I hate having to jump over these. I don't know, can you crawl under them? No, you can't. Okay. Um, I have that problem a lot with these. You, you, gotta, you have to, like, run and jump on them. So, I... I There we go. There we go. I got over it. Oh, another audio cassette. 
your minds have been spied on, the rules of our world don't apply to yours, and so the threat have made a careful study of listening to your thoughts. The kill drones are the result of this research. When confronting a kill drone, be mindful of their weak points. The main systems that can be damaged are the camera, weapon, motor, and batteries. On a kill drone turret, the batteries and motor are in the body of the weapon. The motor is directly under the turret and the batteries behind that, near the rear of the body enclosure. Targeting specific weak points will make sure every bullet counts. Hmm, that's a lot of ammo right there. Or at least a decent amount. Um... Alright. So I think I got everything in this hotel-ish, whatever you want to call it. Oh man, I'm back in a dark area. I hate these. I don't really understand why I have to go through them either. Wait, is this where I came from? Hold on, is this where I came from? Better not be. No, it's not where I came from. God, ah! I have to jump over one of those tubes again. I hate those! I hate them! Was that ammo? Oh, yes it was. Holy crap. Finding lots of ammo. Alright, uh, I hate those things, man. They're annoying. Oh, there's another Audi, you can say. Alright. Oh, reality. Your physical body. Oh, man. I. Just. Oh, man. Now I got the clock again. Ugh, the clock. Clo oh, no, I didn't. I. No, I didn't tell you to. Why? Oh, it's it's empty. Okay, I I see. It's like about to question the game logic. Although the game is probably smarter than I in this situation. Oh, I have three bullets. All right, I'll uh, I'll use this mag because this one's generally full. Um, and then I'll move this one over right there. Uh, I cannot see anything. I don't believe there's a brightness adjuster either, so... <laughs> You're kind of just stuck with it like this. Fine by me, but, you know... Makes the game harder. Uh, is this a dark area? Yeah, screw that. Nope. Just gonna nope away from that. Um... Bullets? Bullets? Mm -mm -mm. Gotta get your bullets. Alright, so, uh. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. <sighs> I didn't expect anything to be in there. There usually never is. Oh my. God! Dang! I am so bad at this. Holy crap. <clears throat> Just gotta run. I made it. But I want to kill those because they're they're fun to shoot. Like a pro! Oh man, that was like a pro. And you know it. You you know it doesn't get better than some Zack off the wall shooting some freaking robots in the face. Honestly, if I did a series on this, that would, that would be all it is. I, I, I would just be shooting these robots all over the place because they're, they're pretty fun to kill. 
And the sounds they make when they just fall on the floor are amazing. It, like, it, it literally sounds like metal crashing on the floor. Some may wonder why I know what that sounds like. Let's just say there are some computers that should not be in this world. And I'm here to take them out. Tried, tried to click W to go forward, I clicked 2 instead and just brought up the second mag. Oh man. Um. Oh, I hate the revolver. I'm like, gah! Why? Why the revolver? This thing's so annoying to reload. Oh my god. I can just go on and on about how much this gun sucks. Um... Oh, yeah. Now, I don't really care if I died there. Like, I had the, the my least favorite gun, and, like, nothing good. Alright, um... Uh, how much ammo does it? Which is this one up? Oh, that's a good mount. Good mount. Uh, I'm gonna eject this, put that right there, grab out number two, and load that one in because it has more ammo. I do have a bullet chambered, I believe. Yes, I do. Um, Alright. And I believe I'm set to go. Yeah. Sometimes I mess up on this stuff. Um, I don't really understand why. I'm pretty sure it's just loading new sector, uh, spawning random worlds, but sometimes when you go through doorways, it lags for a split second. I'm pretty sure I'm correct on what it's doing, but, um, I could, I could as well, I could, I might as well be wrong, too. May as well. Oh man, I, I don't have the energy to play this game right now. It requires you to think. It requires thinking. Oh man, alright. Um, let's give this another try. game requires you to be smart about your choices. Just shot the other turret. Oh, well. I guess I'm dead. Oh, man. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, anyway, I think that's all I have for you guys this time. Um, we will be playing more random games that I have. I have a lot in store, actually, next Monday. Um, but yeah, I guess that's about it. My name is Zach Off The Wall, and, uh, I will see you all later.